Uh, thank you uh, today for, for being the church and for bringing it into uh, this room. Uh, before we hear the Word of God, uh, we have a really um, awesome uh, blessing and treat to be able to uh, take part in baptism. Uh, within the Reformed tradition, within a, and, and certain other circles, um, there is a sacrament called infant baptism. For um, many people, our understanding of baptism is when someone puts their trust in Christ, they get baptized. Uh, baptism, whether it be an infant or it be an adult, um, does not save a person, okay? It does not save a person. It's God's grace that is appropriated through faith that brings about salvation. What baptism is, it, it is a sign and seal of God's covenant grace over a person. It's the way for a person to say, um, if I am to be saved, it's going to be by the grace of God and the grace of God alone, the covenant that he made with his people. Every covenant that God makes with his people throughout history, first with Adam, then with Noah, then with Abraham, then with uh, Moses, then with David, and then finally this covenant of grace that he makes with us uh, was always with a person as well as with their seed. And so Abraham, it affected his children and circumcision. With Noah, it was not just him. It was his family that was saved. With David, it was you will have a descendant on the throne for all time. This is what, when God makes covenants, he makes them not only with a person, but with their seed. And so when a person is baptized, it's their way of saying, I'm now part of the covenant community. Um, again, not salvific. Salvation comes only through faith in the finished work of Christ. And so when Adults are baptized. They're saying, we're part of the covenant community because of God's grace that I have appropriated through faith. And when an infant is baptized, it's their parents saying, we're bringing him or her into the covenant community because of our faith and praying for the day when he or she will come to that faith in God's grace on their own. But for now, they're part of this community of grace to be raised and nurtured, marking themselves as uh, one who belongs to God. And so um, today we're going to have an infant baptism, and typically this happens within the community that a parent and their child calls their own. Um, we're going to baptize someone who's not part of us anymore, but who for many, many years uh, was part of our church community. Hong Shin and his wife Stephanie Shin are committing their daughter, <clears throat> Eliana Jane Shin, uh, to the waters of baptism. Uh, the church in which they attend, they've been away from us for some time, living in, in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, deeply involved in their community, but they don't uh, baptize infants. And so um, during <clears throat> their time down here, they wanted to do that as a way of saying, we need the grace of God in order to help uh, Eliana grow as one dearly loved by God. And so uh, before that happens, uh, Hong and Stephanie have written a letter to their daughter to be read at some point when she understands it. And so uh, I'm going to invite Hong alone to come up and share uh, this letter. <laughs> Good morning, Harvest. Uh, it's really good to be here and good to see everyone. Um, we miss you guys very much uh, in Richmond. We wish we could be a part of this community with you. Um, but I uh, just want to share something really quick uh, for Eliana. Um, our dear Eliana, I know you won't remember this moment, but we hope someday uh, you'll be able to hear about it from your family here in Orlando. We wanted to make sure you were baptized in front of the many aunts and uncles who love and care about you even at your young age. There are people here who've prayed for you before you were born, and people who've prayed over your mom and dad through all our ups and downs. Uh, we wouldn't be here without this community of believers who walk with us, cried with us, and rejoiced with us. We hope one day you'll be able to hear about our story and how God has molded and shaped both of our lives, because everything that has led us to this moment is all by the grace of God. We commit to raising you in the loving arms of Jesus. We hope you may come to know your Savior and accept him, into your life so that you may find peace, grace, and joy. You are truly loved, and we cherish every moment with you, and we can't wait to spend um, moments of worship, um, worshiping our Lord Jesus together. All right. I'm going to invite uh, Hong, Stephanie, and Eliana, uh, and Hong's former house church shepherd, Stefan Seho Hong will come up. Um, typically when this happens, guys, I know, I know how human nature is. The, um, we're going to look at the baby. She's beautiful. Her hair is amazing. Her cheeks are uh, biteable, utterly. But um, this is about Jesus, okay? It's about Jesus and his grace. Come on up. Why don't you guys come on up? Um, and and you, can, you can say, oh, she's beautiful. Ah, oh, look at her. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, 
Before we do this, I need to ask some questions of Hong and Stephanie. Uh, if you would, as you understand this covenant between God and the presence of these uh, witnesses, would you raise your right hand and answer amen to these questions? Hong and Stephanie, in presenting your child Eliana Jane Shin for baptism in response to the call of Christ, the leading of the Holy Spirit, and prompted by the love of the Father, do you confess your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Amen. Do you promise to continue to raise and nurture Eliana in the Christian faith, bringing her to the service of worship and involving her in the educational ministry of the church, teaching and helping her to experience the promises and the challenges of the gospel? Will you endeavor to keep her under the ministry and guidance of the church until such time as she accepts for herself the gift of salvation is, and is confirmed as a responsible member of Christ's church? Amen. You can put your hands down and uh, hear these words from John Calvin that were spoken that we adopt for our day. Um, little one, Eliana, for you, Jesus Christ came into this world. For you, he lived and showed God's love. For you, he suffered the darkness of Calvary and cried at the last, it is finished. For you, he triumphed over death and rose again in newness of life. And for you, he ascended to reign at God's right hand. All this he did for you, little one, though you do not know it yet. And so the word of scripture is fulfilled. We love because God loved us first. So Eliana Jane Shin as a child dearly loved by God, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you pray with me as we pray for Eliana? Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the gift of ceaseless grace that goes to those who deserve it the least. We thank you so much that that grace extends to all who would put their trust in you. We thank you for Hong and Stephanie and for the faith that they have in you. We thank you for their commitment to raise Eliana in the grace of God, and we pray that your spirit would work in her to do what no human being can do, to awaken faith within her that she might be born again, that she would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus and put her trust personally in you as her Savior and as her Lord. Would you bless her and give Hong and Stephanie the wisdom in order to raise her as your child? We thank you so much. We commit them to you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause. We're not going to have people come up and give them gifts. You can do that at the conclusion of our service. But let, yeah, one more round of applause as they head to their seats.